In this video, you will learn about the UI image, an extension of the native image component with a few extra settings. Let's go. The UI image can be added via the archive view, right click, Doozy, UI, and here we have UI image. It has the same settings as the native image component, and you can also convert an image into a UI image and vice versa. Just right clicking and here you say convert to image. And here we have the native image component. Of course, we can also create a native image and after that convert it into a UI image and you will have all the settings. You have your source image and by default, um, the UI image has a special image selected that you cannot remove but we can also select any other images you might want, something like that. So that's not a problem, let's remove it. And of course, a UI image material. You have the option to toggle the Raycast target, just like the native uh, image component. And of course, you can also change the color in uh, any color you, you may want. And you can also set the image to be simple, sliced, tiled, or filled and all the options will work. All right, now we have the extra options and these are the rounded corners. So I can round one corner or uh, any of the corners, should I want to do that and check it out. And you also have the option of rounding all the corners. Let's say, let's lock them and let's go to something like uh, 24 or maybe 16. So you see, we ha you have this option. The next uh, setting, if you will notice here, the, the edge is a bit rough and we have the option to, to add some soft edges or a feather effect. And you just add it just a tiny bit and you can see it here. So this is without it. And we just add a little bit and now it looks way better. Of course, you have a range, for, so the small is from zero to one. You can go with a medium range, so we can go to five and look at it. And you have a large, and here you can go to the image width or a custom value, should you want to use, let's say five, yeah, something like that. Another thing, you have the feather expand size. So let's go with a medium feather. And you'll see that this is the image size and the feather goes outside. If I disable this, the feather will only stay within the, the rectangle width and height. Yeah, so just be aware that you have these settings. It depends on your particular setup. Another thing you can do, you can uh, turn this uh, image into a border. So right now it's set to zero and you can set it into a border and make it like that. This way, if I duplicate this and I say, this is not a border and let's also change the image color. Let's reorder them. And now we have an image with a border. So you can see, I just created this out of nothing. Of course, you can also adjust this and you can create a lot of, uh, a lot of effects should you want to do that. And yeah, this is it for the UI image. You can also convert it back into an uh, image component. And of course you will lose the roundness and uh, anything else. So you just lose the corners, but you can also switch back to it and get it back. So yeah, you can use, you can use any type of image and yeah, whatever you can do, whatever you want to do with uh, with a native image, you can also do it with the UI image as it is an extension of it. And there you go, you can do whatever you want. And it will respect the, the radius of the corners. So let's go with something like this and check it out. Yeah. All right, that's it for the UI image. Thank you.